We're now in winter within Forza Horizon 5, which means we have another brand new vehicle to claim within the game for Series 6. And that, of course, is the 2018 ATS GT. As you can see on screen, you get this vehicle by getting a total of 20 points within the winter season. Very easy to do. Um, obviously, if you've done the Drift Club and the monthly rivals, that's already seven points towards it. And then I thought I'd just go ahead and do the easiest ones, obviously, to get me to the 20. Um, so yeah, it should take you about 15 to 20 minutes, if that. But yeah, we're going to be driving that today. Obviously, we'll see what it's like for racing, do some customization as always, and then we'll take it to the drift zone to end the video. All right, here we are. It's a really good looking car. I'm pretty sure it's in um, previous Horizon games, unless I'm completely lost. I don't know. I'm sure it was though. Sounds good as well. Right, so stock, it's already pretty high up into S1, so I might just chuck it straight into a race event and, uh, and see what it's like. I honestly thought there'd be a lot more wheel spin, but apparently not. Apparently we're good, we're good. I'm not a huge fan of the brake lights, though. I don't know why, but it's just really off-putting. Every time I just look at the car, <laughs> I'm, I don't know. I just don't like them. They just look really weird. But hey, that might just be me. If you, if you guys aren't a fan, let me know in the comments. But they do look, uh, they just stand out way too much. It's pretty, it's pretty decent, you know. Obviously it's a supercar, so I kind of expected that anyway. If I'm not mistaken as well, I, I don't remember too many facts from the streams that come out for um, Forza, but I'm pretty sure they said it's like, like a cross-branded car. Like I feel like it's got something to do with uh, Ferrari and or Lamborghini. I could be completely wrong and thinking of something else, but I know one of the cars mentioned was to do with that, and I feel like it probably is this, because it sounds very similar. All right, and across the line in a sec, but there we go, first place in stock. Not bad. We've got two engine swaps. Of course, we've got a racing V12, lovely. I mean, 720 horsepower already is uh, pretty nuts. So obviously we'll keep the stock engine in it for now and just max upgrade it. Can put spaces on it as well. I might, I might just do that to be honest. Yeah, right. I think that is everything. So this is, we're well, still with the stock engine, fully upgraded to as much as I could possibly do, obviously aside from the aero. So it's 919 horsepower, S2 940 PI, which it ain't bad. Obviously with the engine swap, it will probably get a bit higher than that and hopefully more than a thousand horsepower. Roughly 240, can't do anything to that. I can lower it. Actually, it's already pretty low anyway. Right, take it to the highway, do a speed test, um, and then we'll take it into another race and then come back, upgrade it again. <laughs> a lot of upgrading is gonna be in this video, that's for sure. All right, 244 miles an hour is the uh, top speed. Obviously fully upgraded with the stock engine. What was the... Oh, okay, right. There was 240.8 miles an hour in the um, tune. So obviously, yeah, we got a bit higher with the dip in the road, which is good. Uh, but now let's take it into another race and see how it performs in S2. Obviously up against a... Uh, up against a Kernsay Kiesco, not much. What on earth just happened then? <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't even like realize, I kind of clocked it last minute that everything just happened then. Okay. It's got good acceleration. The handling's a bit, I don't know. It's not, it's, it's nothing special, you know? It's not awful, but it's not like gray either. Uh, but then again, with an almost 1000 horsepower car, you know, you don't really expect tremendous handling from that. The acceleration is good though. I'll give you that. I don't know if I actually like the silver on it now either. I might have to change it back to red. Like it looks all right, but I think I prefer the red actually. Nice, look at that. Nice and easy. I mean the Bugatti, oh, three, okay. Three high in a row. Bugatti was the only one to keep up, but don't matter. Look at that, aerial finish. All right, time for the engine swap. I think out of the two, it's probably gonna be the uh, racing V10. Uh, okay, 211 horsepower, yeah, that definitely makes sense. <laughs> right, um, so it should be able to, if I remember correctly, around, I think it's, is it 1100 horsepower? Something like that, either 1100, 1200, maybe even 13, I don't know. About to find out though, uh, what 
what was it? 1200, okay, 1215 total horsepower. No, okay, we good, we good. Right, so that bumps it up by 24 PI, obviously a lot more horsepower, which hopefully means it's gonna be a lot quicker as well. Not that that really matters too much, as long as it's somewhat decent, I, I don't care. Right, so 263 is the apparent top speed, obviously gonna test that real quick and then we'll chuck it into another race, so. Almost, and I almost hit that car as well. 260, what was it 267 miles an hour? Um, obviously with the engine swap, so a lot more of a top speed on it now. So that's what an extra like 15 miles an hour or something. But yeah, so now let's chuck it into another race. Obviously an S2 again, but this time hopefully a bit more of a challenge. Okay, Hennessy Venom versus. I mean that is already skyrocket in a way, understandably as well. But so is everything else by the looks of it. Is that one? Ah, uh, oh, right. I did actually see that. I just didn't react at all. I was like, you know what? It's too late. I'm, I'm already going this speed. Oh, why is there so much traffic? Bruh. It's just, it's just not going. <laughs> it's not going well so far, is it? The one time I look back, of course, there's a beetle in front of me. Oh my gosh, there's so many AI. <laughs> right, I think that should be fine unless I throw myself off the bridge at the end. Um, but obviously, it's probably going to be a lot more competitive in S2 with the engine swap. So if you want S1, obviously keep the stock engine in it. And then of course, if you want to chuck it into S2, then put the engine swap I've put into it. And as always, to end the video, it's got to be done with the drift zone. Now I have done a quick fill around. There's also now a drift transmission. Um, probably not going to be the best, but again, give it my best shot. Um, but as long as it does something, hopefully, then uh, that is all good. But I've tried to hopefully keep it in second gear for the most part. And I think already this is a pretty, pretty good score to have. No, I don't know. I feel like it's lacking. There's not a lot of acceleration coming out there. I, I don't know. It's weird. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can get close to a million points. Be ideal. Uh, but I shall be back. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully around a million points. My tune definitely is not the best at all. Um, but it, it got to 900k, which is good. Obviously not a million, but that is fine. That is fine. Can I get 950 maybe? Or am I, am I actually trolling? Yeah, I am. Sick. Okay. <laughs> well, almost 950,000. But yeah, not bad, not bad. I really should actually look into how I tune a drift build. That is the 2018 ATS GT within Forza Horizon 5. Available in the current season for a total of 20 points within the festival playlist. But one more car left uh, next week, which I believe is another McLaren. And then after that, we've obviously got C uh, Series 7. Hopefully, we've got some nice cars in that as well that I can use for videos. Of course, I'll more than likely have a video on that, if not on the treasure hunt, so keep an eye out. Until then, take care, and I shall see you in my next video. Peace.